Hi guys, good evening. Welcome to the class. Good to have you here. Hi, Vane. Hello, Eric. Hi, Guillermo. Welcome. Hello. How was your day at work, Vane? Good evening. Hi, Eric. Hi. It was I fine. Have, I have a day. You have a day? It was yeah. good? I, I have. Uh huh. You have. Yeah. Uh, a day heavy. A heavy day. Ah. So you heavy are tired day. in this moment. I imagine. Ah, I see. Funny. Maybe tomorrow is less less difficult than today. <laughs> But yeah. good to have you here, Vane. Good to see you guys. Uh, guys, I want to share with you a tongue twister. We are going to practice fluency. So I'm going to share with you a tongue twister. I'm going to share it with you right now. The idea is that we practice fluency and pronunciation. La idea es que practiquemos fluidez y pronunciación. Okay, and this is the tongue twister. Okay, so this is the, the one. Okay. And one moment. It will change. Okay, I'm going to read it first and then it will be your turn. Okay, Lo voy a leer yo primero y luego les toca a ustedes. Okay, so there was a fisherman named Fisher who fished for some fish in a fisher till a fish with a green pulled the fisherman in. Now they're fishing the fisher for fisher. Okay, that is what you have to say. There was a fisherman named Fisher who fished for some fish in a fisher till a fish with a green pulled the fisherman in. Now they're fishing the fisher for a fisher. Okay, so let's start and I will keep track of your score or your time. Okay, so we will start with Monica. Okay, Monica, ready? Ready to start, Monica? Are you there? Do you hear me? Hi, Monica. Hi. Ready? Yes. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh, there was a fisherman named Fisher who fished for some fish in a fish till a fish with a green Put the fisherman in now they'll feature the feature for the fishers. Very good. Okay, excellent. 17 seconds, Monica. Thank you. Now let's continue with Lisette. Ready, Lisette? Ready. Okay, Lisette, go ahead. There was a fisherman named Fisher go fisher for some fish in a fish till a fish what with a green pool of the fisherman in now they are fishing the fisher for fisher excellent thank you uh -huh. good job it was a good score now let's continue with amanda ¿Qué pasó? okay okay amanda are you ready <clears throat> Okay. Okay, Amanda. There One, two, three. Go. There was a fisherman named Fisher who fished for some fish in a fish. Till a fish with a green pole, the fisherman in. Now they fishing, they fishing for Fisher. There you go. Okay, 15 seconds. Thank you, Amanda. Let's continue with. Angelica, are you ready, Angelica? Okay, teacher. Okay, Angelica, one, two, three. 
There was a fisherman named Fisher who fished for some fish in a fisher till a fish with a green pulled the fisherman in. Now they're fishing the fisher for fisher. Wow, Angelica, you rock. Very good score, good pronunciation, Angelica. Do you practice? Pero lo hice bien. <laughs> yes, uh -huh. good pronunciation. <laughs> Practica. <laughs> Hace eso sí. como hobby. Ah, con razón. Se Más nota. o menos. <laughs> ok, Angélica, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> Thank you. Yay. So, <laughs> let's continue with Guillermo. Ok, Guillermo, ready? Yes. Ok, go. There was a fisherman named Fisher who fishes for some of these are fish or kill a fish with a green pool, a fisherman in now they fish in the fisher for feature. Very good. Mm -hmm. Nine seconds too. You did it very fast. Thank you. Okay, let's see. We, um, Vane, you haven't done it right. Vane, no sé si usted comenzó. No, right. Monica, start it. Are you ready, Vane? Uh, Vane Ramirez. Aha, Vane Ramirez, yes. Sorry. Okay. okay, Vane, one, two, and three. There was a fisherman named Fisher who fished for, for some fish in a fisher. Till a fish with a green pulled the fisherman in. Now they, they're fishing the fisher for fisher. Very good. Thank you, Vane. Ramirez, I appreciate it. Yolanda, can you continue, Yolanda? Are you there, Yolanda? Okay. Yes. Hi. Okay, one, two, and three. There was a fisherman named Fisher who fished for some fish in a fisher. Till a fish with a green pull the fisherman in. Now they're fishing the fisher for fisher. Excellent, 10 seconds. Okay, thank you, uh -huh. you did it very well. So let's continue guys. Yesterday we talked about how to use how many and how much and some, some words that we can use to show quantity. Today we will continue practicing. I'm going to share with you the activity. Okay, the one that we practiced with yesterday. And we will do it together. Okay. Vamos a ver cómo, cómo les quedaron ayer las ideas. Y si no terminaron, vamos a terminar juntos. Okay. So we will start with paragraph number one. Okay. We will start with paragraph, sorry, number one. The one about Christine. And we will begin with Lisette. Okay, Lisette, can you please help us with the part that is with the crosses? Puede leer la parte que está con las, con las X, Lisette, please. Christine is a tennis player from France. She lives near Paris. She trains for many how are every day for many she hours to uh -huh. for many hours every day Hasta ahí. Uh -huh. please you know. i i will stop you there but thank you thank you lisa that will be the one okay this is how we many now let's continue with guillermo guillermo can you continue reading and help us with number two Okay, uh, she, right? She drinks. She drinks two liters of orange juice a day and eats many apples a week. And eats many apples. And you, how many apples do you eat, Guillermo? A week. Uh, nothing a week. <laughs> you don't like, I don't like them? I, I, don't, I don't like them. Uh -huh. yeah. That is why. What's your favorite fruit? The watermelon. That's my watermelon. favorite fruit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that one too. Thank you, Guillermo. Yes, that's the one we can use. 
Now let's continue with Monica. Monica, could you help us with the last part? Uh, very rich and $5 million in the bank. There are many tennis courts and the swimming pools in the garden. Okay, thank you, Monica. So now we have the, the quantifier. Ya ahora ya tenemos la palabra que hacía falta y hay que hacer las tres preguntas. Eric, which is the first question? ¿Cuál sería la primera pregunta? Utilizando how many or how much? ¿Cómo la pusieron? No la he hecho, teacher. You don't have it. Sorry. Okay, and Vane, Vane Ramirez, do you have it? Question number one. Yeah. Uh-huh. How many, how, how many hours, how many hours mm -hmm. eh, she, she trains? Thank you. Le vamos a agregar el das, she. Ah. And, okay. And train. Any hours, hours does. Okay. Thank you, Vane. Good job. Now, Lisette, what do you think about question number two? How many apples does she eat in the week? Thank you. How many apples does she eat a week? Okay, that's the question. Angelica, number three, what do you think? Mm, how many tennis courts does she has? Thank you. Aunque no son realmente de ella, Angelica. Son, es otra palabra. No sé si tiene otra idea. Do you have a different idea, Angelica? Mm, no. 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 Okay, let's ask Amanda. What about you, Amanda? What would be the question? How many tennis courts? Esa parte está bien. How many tennis courts? And then. That's practice. Thank you. It's different. It will be different. Who has another idea? No sé si alguien tiene otra idea. You have to, Guillermo. Uh -huh. How many tennis courts and swimming pools are there in her garden? Thank you. Uh -huh. That's the one we can use because we are just talking about, um, about the, the tennis courts. So, yes, how many tennis courts and swimming pools podemos agregar? Are there, there are many tennis courts. Okay, no, uh, sorry. Do you have any questions for me? Comments or questions about paragraph one? Okay, let's continue with number two, the one about Ross. Okay, give me one moment. Hazel, hello Hazel. Can you help us with number hello. one? Vamos con el paragraph number two. Okay. Here, from here, y terminamos Hazel. Acá. Okay. Um, Ross is from England and he is a white white lifter. Lifter. Weight lifter. Mm -hmm. He lives in a big house in London with his wife and many children. And many children. Thank you, Hazel. That will be the one. Now we continue with Vanessa Carranza. Okay, Vanessa. Number five. 
He trains for six hours every day and has mm, many Olympic gold medals. Many, uh -huh, because we can count medals. Okay, thank you, Vanessa. Okay, now Guillermo, can you continue, please? Number six. He usually eats by big eggs and mm -hmm. much of meat a week. And much of meat. Thank you. Allí les mencionaba un equipo de, que pueden usar a lot in this case porque tiene el of. So a lot of meat. Porque si ponemos much, no tiene que llevar el of. So a lot of meat a week. Ok, Mónica, what would be question number four? ¿Cómo quedaría la pregunta cuatro? What do you think, Mónica? How many, how much? ¿Y cómo iría luego? Are you there, Mónica? Okay, Eric, what about you? Do you have an idea? Number four. No? Eric? No, uh -huh. Do you want me to give you a moment? Quiere que le dé un momento, tal vez la, la logre elaborar? Can you try? Or if you want to, si no me puede decir lo que no entiende o le cuesta para que yo le pueda explicar. So, I will give you a moment, Eric. Le voy a dar un momento, trate de hacerla y si no, luego le ayudo para que aprenda a hacerlas. Vanessa Ramírez, we will continue with question number five. Vamos a probar la number five, Vanessa. What would be the question? Okay. Um, how, how many hours mm -hmm. is just, just how many hours does he <laughs> You're going well, hours? vamos bien. Just the verb, solo el verbo nos hace falta ahí, Vane. He, he trains. Ajá, sin la S. Ahí le vamos a quitar he la S. Does he train? Yes, Vane. Ah, sí, 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 por el das. Yes, correct. Okay. Thank How you, many hours does yes. Now okay. we continue with Lisette. Question number six, Lisette, what do you think? Lisette or Angelica? How many meat does Ross eat a week? How many meat? Thank you. Ah, but it's non countable, Angelica. How much? Uh, uh, but, uh, uh -huh. how, how much? How, how much? How much meat? meat does Ross eat a week? I'm sorry. Yes. Thank you. Does Ross eat a week? Correct. That will be the, the question. So, Eric, did you think about the question? No sé si logró elaborarla, Eric. Or do you need help? Uh -huh. No sé, yo hice una, pero no sé si está bien. Sería como, eh, how many people live with Ross? How many people, how many people lives with Ross? That could be one option. La otra puede ser así. Lo primero que puede hacer, Eric, para hacer una pregunta es, detectar el tiempo de la oración. Así como en este caso, 
por el verbo podemos ver que es simple present. Entonces, para hacer una pregunta, primero va how much or how many. Acá vamos a contar people, right? Okay. No podríamos decir how many people. Y como es simple present, y es para una tercera persona, pone das. Does he? Y luego el verbo. Does he live with? Pero la que usted dijo también, también es válida. También. Esta es otra opción. It's another option. Okay. Tiene que poner el auxiliary, do or does. Y ya luego el subject, verb. Y aquí llevaba preposition. Okay. But we will continue practicing. Ya vamos a practicar un poquito más. Thank you, Eric. Thank you. Okay, Hazel, we continue with you. Number seven, Hazel. Okay. Question. Uh, the, the reading. Okay. Uh -huh. Dan is a snowboarder from Norway. He goes to 35 snowboarding events a year and travels to uh, many different countries. Perfect. Okay. Thank you, Hazel. Vanessa Carranza, could you help us with number eight, please? How many? Um, no, sorry. He has three. Houses and many motorbikes. Many again. Thank you. That will be the one, Fanny. Let's continue with Yolanda. Number nine, Yolanda. He usually. Uh, he usually eats four kilos of pasta a week and mm -hmm. drinks a lot of wine on Saturday night. A lot of wine. Yes. Do you like wine, Yolanda? Uh, so, so. So, so. <laughs> okay, Yolanda. Thank you. Now we elaborate the questions. We will start with Heidi. Hi, Heidi. What's the question? What do you think the question is? ¿Cuál cree que sería la pregunta number seven? How many or how much? ¿Y cómo iría luego? Sorry, teacher, las preguntas si no las, las pude hacer. Solamente oh. resolver eso. Ah, can you try, Heidi? Si le doy un tiempo, puede tratar de hacer la number seven. Y me avisa. ¿Cómo le queda? Please. Ok, teacher. Ok. okay. Let's see. Guillermo, number eight. The one about the motorbikes. Um. Mm, it's it's kind of difficult, but there how are two options. Many, how many? Uh -huh. How many house motorcycles? that you have mm -hmm. okay thank you good job how many houses and motorbikes does he have then the question mark okay there it is are you there lisette can you continue lisette Or Hazel, do you want to try number? Ah, okay, Lisa. Uh -huh. Lisa, está ocupadita. No, no, solo que me había confundido un poco. Ah, uh -huh. do you need help? No sé si tiene alguna duda que quiera que le aclare. Es que 
Bueno, según las opciones que nos habían dado al inicio, íbamos a usar many o much, mm. pero veo que estamos usando la opción a lot of. Mm -hmm. Entonces, es, en esas dos, ¿en qué momento vamos a usar much? ¿Y ¿En qué momento vamos a usar a lot of? Estamos usando of a lot of por este, por la preposición que está acá. Por lo que sigue. Ajá, por lo que sigue. Porque si no estuviera, entonces sí podría utilizar many or much. ¿verdad? Si no estuviera. Pero como sí está, entonces por eso vamos con ese. Porque many no lleva off or much no lleva off. Mm -hmm. But they all mean the same. Do you have question number nine, Lizeth? No sé si tiene la pregunta number nine. The one about the wine. How many, how many events and travel does, uh, uh -huh. does go, does he go? Number nine, it's the one here. The last one, es la última. Esa fue number seven. Number nine. How much pasta does he eat? Okay, that could be one. Thank you, Lisette. And you, Hazel, what is your idea? Do you have the same or something different? Uh, how much wine he drink? Okay, very well. Just the das, Hazel. Don't forget to, to mention the, the auxiliary. How much wine does he? Does he drink? Okay. Drink. Okay, Hazel, thank you. And Thank Heidi, you. did you try Heidi? Seven, how many from Chico? How many? From Chico. How many? La otra palabra no, no la entiendo, Heidi, sorry. How many? From. 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 Luego de how many, tiene que mencionar el objeto que estamos contando. ¿Qué estamos contando en la number one? El número de countries. O esta okay. es la palabra que decía. No, ¿verdad? From. No, from. Ajá. En este caso estamos contando countries, así que este es el que va acá. How many countries? Digo, sí. Repeat. He. He. Ajá. He go. Okay. All right. Thank you, Heidi. And let's listen to Vanessa Carranza. Do you have the same, Vanessa Carranza? Or seven. Seven. Um, how many? Go snowboarding. Okay, Fanny. Thank you. And Yolanda, what do you think, Yolanda? Number seven. Number seven. Um, how many snowboarding events does he go? Mm, okay. Okay, yes. That could be one. Okay, esa podría ser una, aunque no es donde está la number seven, es la anterior. Pero sí, sí, Yolanda, esa podría ser una. Okay, aquí podría ser, how many countries does he travel to? He travels to? Many countries, para contestar la, la pregunta. Okay. 
All right. Um, do you want to ask a question? No sé si hay algo que quieran preguntarme. I think we have to practice the question part. Quizás tenemos que mejorar un poco la parte de preguntas. La vamos a practicar un poquito más. But is there something you would like to ask? Comments or questions? No. Okay, so let's let's review that part. Vaya, vamos a practicar un poquito la parte de preguntas. We have how many and how much. How many and how much. Plus, and then we will use a non-count noun. Okay, that's the one we use, a non-count noun. Okay, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I think. Okay, how many in a count noun? And then we use how much? And then you need a non count noun. Okay, this is la parte primordial, okay, the most essential part. La que no va a cambiar. Siempre va a ir así. How many or how much? Y luego va a ir el noun que estén contando. Bananas, people, cars, violence, etc. La siguiente parte puede cambiar. For example, simple, simple present. Okay, simple present. I have many friends. Hazel, do you have a comment? I have no, many. no, it's a no. mistake. Ah, okay. Thank you. Uh -huh, you're welcome. I have many friends. Esta oración está en simple present. Si quieren hacer una pregunta en simple present, siguen la estructura de una oración, de una pregunta en simple present. Pero coloquen primero siempre la parte esta. How many? Y aquí estamos contando o hablando de la cantidad de amigos, friends. How many friends do Vamos a utilizar do porque el sujeto es I. Entonces necesitamos el auxiliar do. Luego el subject. Do I. Y el verb. Do I have. And the answer. I have many friends. A lot of friends. Okay. Entonces esta es la parte que quizás tenemos que mejorar un poquito. No olvidar el, el auxiliary, do or does, si está en present tense. Y ya de ahí solo colocan el subject. Okay, subject and verb. Simple past, we can use simple past. Pueden utilizar otros tiempos. Digamos simple past. A past event. She ate seven Seven pupusas. Okay. ¿Cómo detecto que es past tense? Because of the verb. El verbo me indica en qué tiempo está. Eight es past tense. Entonces, pa, ahí hay que usar el auxiliar de past tense. Pupusas. We can count pupusas. Como si podemos contarlas, voy a usar how many. How many. Y ahora lo que estamos hablando. How many pupusas. Y ahora utilizan la forma o la estructura de past tense. Ok. Um, Vanessa Carranza, do you remember the auxiliary? ¿Se recuerda el auxiliar que se usa en past tense? Mm. Porque do es para present tense, right? Pero para past tense. Ajá. Thank you. Es did, right? Entonces, para que las personas entiendan, esta palabra no necesita, no significa nada. Solo es un identificador de tiempo. Que cuando uno lo dice, la persona sabe que es past tense. How many pupusas did you, ahora el subject y ahora el verb. How many pupusas did you eat? Okay. I ate seven pupusas. Okay. Entonces, esta es la parte que tienen que tener más cuidado. Okay. 
Don't forget the auxiliary. No, no olviden el auxiliar. Do, does, will. Lo tienen que poner para que entiendan las personas qué tiempo es. Y luego el subject. Subject and verb. Okay? Past tense. Is it clear? Ready to practice? Okay, so let's do this. Please create. I will put it here. Okay. Create three questions. Three questions using how many? That's one. And then three questions using how much? And next, three questions using there is or there are, okay? Que es el primero que vimos on Monday. Vamos a trabajar en grupos. We're, no, in pairs. We will work in pairs. And the questions are going to be for that person. Las preguntas que van a crear van a ir dirigidas para su pareja. For example, ok, Heidi, y lo voy a poner acá para que vean con quién van a trabajar. Just give me one moment. Ok. Mm. One sec. Okay. Vamos a hacer así. Heidi, Angélica, and Vanessa Ramírez. Okay, Vanessa Ramírez. And then we will continue with Vanessa Carranza and Yolanda. Next, Eric. Eric and... You know, I'm going to remove Vane. Vane Ramirez, you will be working with Eric. Okay. And then we will have Hazel with Lisette. Okay. Les estoy poniendo acá con quién van a ir para que las preguntas las hagan para esa persona. Think about questions you can ask. And then Guillermo and Mónica. And Mónica. Okay, so there you are. I will give you five minutes. Okay, I will give you around five to six minutes. Les voy a dar unos cinco minutos para que las empiecen a crear y luego van a preguntarse, ¿ok? You're going to ask each other. Do you have questions about the activity? ¿Hay alguna pregunta sobre esta actividad? Something that is not clear? No. Ok.
How are you doing, guys? How many, how many questions do you have? Hazel, how many questions do you have? ¿Cuántas preguntas lleva ya? Uh, teacher. Solo yes. me falta una de la última. Oh, okay, okay. We're good. Yes, Guillermo. Uh, can we ask the question now? Yes. Uh -huh. I'm going to open the rooms right now. And I will go and listen to you. You can open the room. Open the room. And talk or ask the questions to your partners. Guillermo, did you receive the invite? Recibió la invitación. Guillermo? I don't hear you, Guillermo. Mónica, can you participate, Mónica? Podrá hacer sus questions, Mónica. Este, sí. Yeah, okay. Let me, let me send you to a room. So you can work with your classmates. Mm -hmm. Hi, Catherine. La voy a dejar solita aquí un ratito. Voy a ir a ver cómo van sus compañeros. Okay, so I'm going to let you hear a moment. Uh, yo, por ejemplo, con la, um, how many, eh, las, las tres que tengo completa es, how many countries do you know? So, lo que podemos hacer, quizás eh, no las compartimos y, uh, y hacernos las mismas preguntas. Hi, okay. guys. ¿Qué okay. tal van? So, so, teacher. Hello, teacher. What happened? Hasta sudando estoy la cara. Por la presión. No, no. ¿Y, ¿Y qué tal hicieron? ¿Lograron hacer algunas preguntas? Yo ahorita he logrado hacer las tres de how much. Perdón, much. how many. De how many. How Ajá. Many. Ajá. En Angélica. Yo tengo tres de how much y dos de how many. Ah, ok. ¿Por qué no se hacen una cada uno? O sea, por ejemplo, Heidi le pregunta una de ellas y luego usted responde, Angélica. You ask, you ask back. Eh, can you ask for a moment? Pueden hacer algunas. Quería venir a escuchar para ver cómo vamos. Y les digo okay, qué tal okay, vamos. Ok, Angélica. Can you start? Ok. Uh, Heidi, how many hours do you work? A week, a month. A, a day? How many day. hours do you work ah, okay. a day? Mm -hmm. uh, 18 hours. 18? <laughs> or, wow, <laughs> sounds like a lot. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Y a festivo 24 horas. Oh my god. Oh. Maybe. No trabaje tanto. Le va a hacer daño. <laughs> okay. Uh, Haiti, now can you ask Angelica? Angelica, how many countries do now? Do you? No, el pide ahí el, el do you, el, el do. Do you know? Uh -huh. 
I How know. How many countries do you know? I know a lot of countries. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Angelica, can you ask? Oh, I think it's your turn, right? Angelica. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Heidi, how much water do you drink? Yes, I like water. Um, so that. <laughs> and how much? How much water? Uh -huh. um, five. Liters, no sé cómo liters, 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 excellent, ok, I okay. will let you continue, las voy a dejar que sigan, y cualquier cosa, pues ahí ayúdense, verdad, para que todos mejoremos, but you're going well, ok, no olviden el do or does, el auxiliar, verdad, depende del, del tiempo, ok, um, I'm going to go, okay. do you have any questions, no sé si tienen alguna duda antes que me vaya, uh, no, no teacher. No. Okay, see you in one moment. Goodbye. Hi, Bane. Hi, Yolanda. How are Hi, you doing? ¿Cómo van por acá? Good. Pero estamos, bueno, yo estoy un poco insegura con uh -huh. el there is, there are. Mm -hmm. um, no sé si las habré formulado bien. Ajá, a ver. Y ya las hizo, porque a eso venía, para escuchar cómo habían quedado. Sí, va. yo hice solamente dos con how much, eh, sí hice tres con how many y dos mm -hmm. con there is y there are. Ajá. La primera que yo hice fue how much sugar do you eat daily, Yolanda. La segunda, how much. Do you like the piano, Yolanda? Eh, con how many, hice how many friends do you have to, how many hours do you stay at work? Y how many people do you know in the city? Excellent. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, those are correct. Ah, okay. And, Pero and con las que no ones? estoy tan segura, es con there is y there are. Hice una que decía, eh, o que dice, they are two window in the front of the house. And that's y... the question. Esa sería la pregunta. Ajá. Ah, y okay. are, are, there, are there any cookie left, Yolanda? That one is correct. The last one. En la primera no hizo el cambio de there are. Tiene que decir are there. Entonces tendría que ser en la oh, primera oh, así como la segunda. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, ahí está, por eso estaba confundido. Ajá. Porque cuando uno dice there are, es un statement, una oración. Pero para volver la pregunta, uh -huh. se cambia la posición. Are there? Y ya lo que... Entonces uno, sería, ¿verdad? entonces sería, eh, are there two windows in the front of the house? Ajá. Of your house. Ah. O oh, bueno, uh, ajá, okay. of the house. Uh -huh. Ok. The house ah, pues ahí estamos. The house. Ajá, it depends. Si es en general, como de lo que sea, ¿verdad? Una casa, yeah, the house. But your house to be specific. De ahí así fuera la suya. Uh -huh. Ok, but yeah, they are entonces en, entonces en vez de in the front of the house, sería in your house. In the front of your house. Ah, okay. Okay. Any other questions? Y ya se terminaron Yo de preguntar. Estoy... Ahorita nos estábamos preguntando. No sé ah, si okay. Yolanda le tiene uh -huh. alguna pregunta. Yolanda, questions? Eh, no, solo para decir como, es que yo me estaba preguntando de lo de la primera que me dijo how much sugar do you eat daily uh -huh. eh, si yo quiero responder eh, como um, muy poco, no sé cómo podría responderla ahí teacher ok, I si eat, fuera así uh -huh. corto 
a little. Pero si ya lo quiere hacer long answer, I eat uh -huh. little sugar. Hasta I ahí, no es necesario que sugar. diariamente. Y agregarlo, I eat little sugar daily. For every ah, okay. day. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ok, so I will let you continue. Las voy a dejar que continúen. Siguen practicando y practicando. Ah. Yes, practicing. <laughs> and I will visit the other room. Voy a ir a visitar a sus compañeros. Okay. See you okay. in one moment. Gracias. Bye. Hi, How are you doing? Have you finished? Yeah, teacher. Yeah. I've been tarde, entonces. Ah, okay. Tell me. Eh... Por ejemplo, how many, mi primera oración fue how many years or you. No sé si, mm -hmm. si está bien. How many yes. years or you. No, Vane, porque acuérdese que ese, el, el de la edad es especial. Y va how old. How old are uh -huh. you. How, how old are Ajá, you. Ajá, es especial. Ajá, es mm -hmm. Y la otra es. How many children do you have? That's okay. How many children? Mm -hmm. Okay. How many countries do you know? Mm -hmm. And how much eat meat? How much meat do you eat? Ah, uh, how much meat do you eat? Yes. Porque recuerde que luego del how much se pone la cosa de la que la que está contando o queremos contar. Entiendo. En este, en este caso es, es meat. Entonces, igual tengo otra que dice how much drink soda. Entonces sería how much eh, soda soda do you drink? Uh -huh. Yes, Fanny. Okay. Yes. And you, Monica or Guillermo, do you have a question for me? Uh, no, sure. No. I don't have any questions. No questions. Okay. I'm sorry I came late. Lo siento que vine algo tarde, pero estaba contestando otras preguntas de sus classmates. Okay. So that is why, no porque si quería, quería haberlos escuchado de, de the answers too. Okay, but uh -huh, we will continue practicing it well later. We will go back to the other room, Van and Guillermo. See you there. Okay, guys, welcome back. Just uh, Hazel, Eric, and Lisette, I'm sorry that I couldn't visit you. Lo siento que ya no logré llegar a tiempo a, a su room a escucharlos. Do you have any questions? No sé si se quedaron con alguna duda, Hazel. Something you wanted no to ask? No. Okay. No. Well, I think that for the moment we will have to stop the class um, here. Do you have any questions before we finish the class? No sé si hay algo que quieran preguntar. Any doubts? No. We're fine. No. Okay. No. All right. Well, if you have any questions, remember you can send me a message and I will try to help you out. Okay. But we will stop the class over here. It was nice to see you guys and, and I hope you enjoy the weekend. Okay. So goodbye to all of you. See you Thank on you. Monday. Bye bye. Thank you, Thank you teacher. You're welcome.